when we first found the survivors, it was so excited because like we never thought that like after like five days after the earthquake, we can still find uh, survivors and it was so excited. But like on the other hand, like uh, when I was in Turkey, the most part, the, the, the most I told those people are saying that, oh, so, sorry, I cannot help. I, we, we couldn't detect those uh, any signs of life. And that's the sad part. Most of the time, we cannot find any victims or survivors under the rubble. Even though you work so hard, even though you work like maybe like five, six hours, like they have to get used to this failure. There's one scene that I, I remember most is that when we found those three survivors on the, uh, on the 11th of February, a father came to me and he, like, he saw hope. And he kept telling me that uh, he lived uh, just around the corner and he heard his children who live in the basement of a building, uh, they, they, like, they make some noise. And we, I just followed him to his house and he kept calling his uh, children, but like, I cannot hear anything. But he just keep saying that, like, I, I would say he, he just keep imagining that he heard some sound underneath the, the building. And after we used the life locator to try to find any like signs of life, and like, we couldn't, we just couldn't find any signs of life. I told him that uh, we have to move on to try to find some victims. I would say that like Turkish people are amazing. They they are so strong. Like uh, people was keep saying that like uh, like we are the heroes, but really no. Like imagine like, like a people uh, laying in the rubble days, like maybe five days, six days. Sometimes even they have a deceased family member just laying next to him or next to her. They just stay there and keep waiting for the chance to be rescued, which is so so slim. Imagine like, like there are fifty thousand people deceased, and and the chance to be rescued is so slim. They just wait there. They didn't give up. They didn't complain. Um, actually, this is our first international rescue operation or overseas rescue operation, and we are so lucky that we uh, we can work together with the China rescue team. They are a very, very experienced rescue, international rescue team. On the, like, uh, on the tools, on the technique, rescue technique, I would say that we are on the, on, uh, up to the international standard. But on some details, we, can, like, we have a lot to learn from the Chinese, uh, the China rescue team. Uh, for example, the food, the way we take, a, take our rest, uh, the food we eat and some uh, other things like how to assess the security and safety on site. And for the way forward, I would say that we uh, look forward to have more uh, interaction with them, experience sharing, maybe some even some like we can make some like exercise drills together. Mm -hmm.